Howdy everyone, Pulcher here with an Age of Magic video and in today's video we are going to be covering the announcement that was just made in Discord. Huge announcement, lots of information. Before we get into it though, I just want to say a thank you to Thea, the community manager. Now, I watch Discord a lot. I see a lot of people normally getting frustrated and Discord is the way to release that frustration and a lot of people take it out on Thea. I see a lot of behind the scenes stuff and I can promise you that she works day in and day out trying to get things done and she can only work with what she's given and she's worked hard to get this information and it's a lot more than i thought was going to be shared so thank you to her she normally doesn't get appreciation but i mean she is a person as well guys so you know let her know sometimes you know she she can hear it you can you can say thank you sometimes so go and do that okay anyway getting into it uh, new mode and unique equipment items, artifacts. So, new location and treacherous foes, unique hero equipment, new elements of strategy and tactics when combining heroes. Now, when I first read this, I had massive session of dyslexia, and I thought it said that I thought it said unequip hero equipment, and I was like, what? What? No way! No way! But it is no way. It is no way. That's not happening. It's unique hero equipment. So from what I understand, it's not going to be an addition. It's not going to be like gear 13, 14, 15. From how I understand it, it's going to be its own separate panel. And you're going to be able to adjust hero stats in there. So it's not going to be set. You're not going to equip a set piece of gear like you normally do. And your hero gets the same stats as every other hero in the game. This is going to be a way to customize the stats. So, for example, you may be able to add more speed to Tyrox. You may be able to add more crit rate to Rock, so forth. I don't know exactly what stats the artifacts are going to have, but that's just how I understand it. It's going to be a way to customize hero stats. And it's a long shot, but in saying that, it feels like it's going to lead into the possibility of more content in the sense that there's going to be content where you may require certain stats on heroes. So yeah, it's just going to be a way to give your heroes a little bit more personality and build them the way you want. It's also going to be affect the arena and tournament a lot, a lot because, you know, teams may not work the way we have grown up knowing that they work. It's going to completely change everything. So that's a pretty big first step. All right, so second box, a new chapter in the history of a rat. Dark forces will pose a new challenge to the forces of light. Hero ability awakening. Now, I've, I gave everyone a little bit of teaser of that in my Discord server. Link in the description below. Go and join the server. And Roland's storyline continues. And let's be honest, that's the biggest part of this announcement. Roland's storyline continues. We are finally going to be able to get some more shards for Roland. We know he's an essential part of most meta teams. So strap in ladies and gents because that roland awakening is coming not really hero awakening is a very interesting concept and like the artifacts it's potentially going to change the meta completely hero ability awakening is now giving some heroes and it is some for now but i do know that there are plans to add more and more i think the plan is eventually all heroes but it's a big process, a big process, but Hero Ability Awakening is adding an eighth skill level. And it's not, let me state this right now, it is not just simply increasing the damage and whatever of the stat, uh, of the skill like we know normally. At the moment, you increase the skill level from like one to two, for example, three to four, and the skill will do more damage, it will have a lower cooldown, so forth. Skill Awakening, in some regards, not all, some of them will just be simple things like reducing the cooldown by one or so forth. But some awakenings are completely altering abilities. Now, I'm hope I'm going to give you one and hopefully this slips by the radar and don't get cold out. And again, this could change, but um, let me try and think of one that I have seen. Um, Thane Arg, for example. Thane Arg has one of his abilities that can awaken, which allows him to take 25% less damage per living orc. So, you do a little bit of quick maths there. Four orcs on a team that are living, how much damage is Thane Arg going to take? Zero. He's going to take zero damage. So, it is a way of completely readjusting heroes. Some of them have become extremely useful. Some of them... Um, just it's it's like a whole new game. It's a whole new game looking at some of these abilities. And 
I have asked Playcop, and they've given me the green light to do so, just I don't know when, so please don't ask me, but I will be releasing a video on the skills that are being awakened, the heroes, and how, I mean, I can't tell you how it's going to affect the battle uh, content, content, arena, tournament, that content, because I don't know, it is just a lot, it is a lot to digest, and yeah. All right, next one, next one, because that was a big one. Next one, regular updates of popular modes. New season in Cradle of Chaos, new raids for veteran players, more raid difficulties, two more power updates, shop and reward updates. All right, so let's tackle the most obvious stuff. Of course, these things are going to be updated because with these new awakened skills, with these new artifacts, our hero strengths are going to skyrocket and old content is going to become almost irrelevant. Not irrelevant, but it's not going to be a challenge. You're just going to be able to wipe the floor because... Most likely, the heroes in the content aren't going to be updated. They'll remain the same strength as they are at the moment. And yeah, I mean, some of these hero ability awakening will just absolutely tear through things like raids and potentially Cradle of Chaos. Uh, Tomb of Horror updates. Don't know anything about that. Interesting that they're focusing on Tomb of Horror, uh, especially when it just got its rush. I think that that was the end of that content. I thought that was good enough. Uh, raid difficulties, obviously, and shop and reward update. That's awesome. It needs to be updated. Update. I don't care if you add new heroes to these shops, but just give them ridiculous prices. It, it, if it means just draining the currency of players, then go ahead and do it. I don't know if that's going to be the way they adjust it. It could be. I could be wrong. Uh, but the stores are outdated. A lot of things are outdated, and it needs a bit of a revamp. And finally, the big one. The big one, new clan war. Now, we don't know any information about this. I don't know any information about this. Uh, an exciting new mode where all clan members have their time to shine. Now, I don't know anything about this, but I can definitely speculate to how I would love clan wars to be run because, like many people, I wasn't a fan of the old clan wars. I hated it. I absolutely loathed the old clan wars. Some people loved it. Some people loved it because it was just something to do. If I could redesign clan wars i would have it more of a 1v1 type situation one clan versus another um and you go from there i don't know how they're going to do it i i don't want personally i don't want a map with every clan i hate the idea of it i hate the idea of alliances and this is just biased personal opinions it just wasn't fun at all i don't like having to as an officer who did most of the clan war stuff in my clan um I don't want to have to sit there and watch everyone and worry about everyone and waste my my weekend. It just wasn't fun. As a member, it's a completely different story. You just jump in, use a few attacks, and diddly ho, you're on your way. Good work. But um, other than that, yeah, it it'd be interesting. This clan wars, it's like it says at the bottom, two thousand twenty four. We're getting close to it. We've got the Lilith event coming up, the Halloween event. After that, there'll probably be some downtime. Then we'll have Christmas. Um, and then we jump into 2024 and we'll go from there. I don't know if all of this stuff is dated for 2024. I feel like maybe some of it will peak its head in 2023, end of 2023. Again, could be completely wrong. Don't know. Just my guess. But it's an interesting update. There's a lot of stuff, a lot of things to change the game as we know it at the moment. So it will be interesting to see what follows from this. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. I will answer it to the best of my ability. And wherever you're in the world, until next time, please take care of yourself.